Another, I guess, critical week for stimulus negotiations. A bipartisan group of lawmakers expected to break their COVID relief package into two pieces, separating out some of the most controversial items. Ilan Mui joins us now to explain it all to us. Good morning, Ilan. Well, good morning, Joe. That's right. Multiple sources are telling me that this bipartisan group is planning to split up their $908 billion package. The first piece would be worth about $748 billion, and it would have the relatively non-controversial items. That's extending unemployment benefits, $300 billion for small businesses, money for vaccines and for schools. The second bucket would be the hard stuff, $160 billion in state and local aid, the guardrails for distributing that, as well as the language on liability protections. And the idea here is to provide party leadership a roadmap for either striking the bigger deal or for scaling it back. Now, these informal negotiations among lawmakers were happening this weekend as the official talks between the Treasury Secretary and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi appear to be back on. The two of them were on the phone yesterday for about half an hour. According to a readout from her office, Pelosi emphasized the importance of that state and local aid, especially as they're the ones who are now responsible for the last mile distribution and administration of the vaccine. She also signaled a potential compromise on Republicans' top priority, liability protections, as long as it doesn't jeopardize worker safety. So the two of them are expected to speak once more today. Andrew, one thing that was not mentioned in the readout of the call is stimulus checks. So we will have to see how hard both President Trump and rank and file lawmakers from both parties decide to push for that and what we hope are the final week of negotiations. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.